So I'm going to do some examples with the reciprocal rule. And if you recall, the reciprocal rule says if I have 1 over something, then I take the derivative of that something and I put it on top. I rewrite the denominator squared and I throw a minus sign out front. So if I do that with 1 over x cubed, the derivative of that using the reciprocal rule says I put a minus. I put the derivative of x cubed on top. That's 3x squared. And then I write the denominator exactly as it was and I square that. But I can simplify this pretty nicely. I'll leave that minus 3 there. x cubed squared, that's x to the sixth. Using properties of exponents, if I have an exponent raised to an exponent, I multiply those numbers. And now x squared over x to the sixth, hopefully you can see this, I can cancel that x squared on top and write that as minus 3 over x to the fourth. So there's even kind of a shortcut inside the reciprocal rule. Do you see what I, I did here? If you went right from 1 over x cubed to minus 3 over x to the fourth, you see we flipped the sign, we multiplied by that 3, and then we added 1 to the power of the denominator. So if you keep that in mind, if I do this problem, I flip this sign, so I'm going to make this positive, I multiply by the power in the denominator, so 7 times 9 is 63, and then I add 1 to the, the power of the denominator. So that's an even shorter way to use the reciprocal rule.